I wouldn't want anybody to ever go through anything like what we've been through and continue to go through. More Tennesseans are dying on the road than ever before. Statewide data shows a 20% increase in 2021 compared to previous years. Last year already broke a record as the state's deadliest. And in our East Tennessee region, there have already been 73 deaths on the road this year. Last year at this time, we were at 51. Statewide, there have been 586 deaths, which is more than 100 more than last year. And reporter Amelia Young explains the hot spots and why an East Tennessee father wants drivers to get serious about safety. Tennessee's roads remain dangerous year after year. Even with less drivers in 2020 because of the pandemic, it was still one of the deadliest years in more than a decade. In Knoxville, concern lies on I-40, specifically around Strawberry Plains Pike. After another fatal wreck just last week, officials also cautioned drivers of Chapman Highway, where earlier this month a pedestrian was struck and killed. And most wrecks are preventable. DJ Corcoran is urging people to make a difference starting now. For him, it's personal. It was a head-on collision for my son. Uh, he was not at fault. His son Pierce was hit and killed in 2018, just several days after Christmas. The crash happened on Chapman Highway. There was a driver that wasn't paying attention and he crossed that center line and hit my son head on and took his life. As Knoxville fire captain, he sees results of the deadly mistakes daily. It just really hurts our guys when, when they see that. You know, it's, it's something that, uh, uh, you know, takes a toll on, on just their psyche day to day uh, when they come to work. With local fatality numbers already higher this year than last, Corcoran has one simple message, pay attention. If that can keep somebody from, from having a wreck, then, then, you know, that's a message we'd like to get out there to people because he says being aware could save your life. Reporting in Knoxville, Amelia Young. And our states and highways aren't the only concerns. More than half of the crashes in this region happen on rural roads.